Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, Monty here, Transport Fever 2, see those trains coming around the corner, the music is a jamming, I can't believe it, I'm very excited guys that I'm going to be showing this off to you, and uh, I'm jumping right into the campaign as you've seen, but today we're focusing on the free play, and we're going to be going on a tropical map, very, very cool, starting with the food, starting with the fuel, and I'm going to be showing off the first 50 years in today's episodes, from 1850 to 1900, everything that that's going to bring our beautiful island. So really glad to have you guys along, really excited to be showing off some Transport Fever 2. Let's jump right into it. Ah, uh, well, here it is, here it is, it's finally happened, Transport Fever 2. We've been waiting, I've been waiting ever since they announced it, basically, day in, day out, sleepless nights, when's Transport Fever 2 coming? Anyway, no, it's here, we're checking it out, very, very excited. You guys, this is the Monty uh, Seed, if you guys are looking, just no, no, no caps, M-O-N-T-E, that's it, and uh, I did full hills I'll, I'll post uh, maybe a picture on Twitter for uh, the, the, the full out settings anyway right to it large map island gonna be beautiful I've already seen like today today at like uh, 10 a.m. the embargo hit everyone's live streaming and everything like that this time I'm not gonna just go eh, I'm just gonna wait a few months and then I'm gonna oh, I'll record and dabble in the game oh no we're going at it we're gonna be playing it so we're looking at the beautiful island of Monty. It looks fantastic. It's tropical. Like, like, this is all I'm going to do. Just hang out on the, the ocean front and hang out at the beach. And who needs buses, trains, and planes and, and all that when we have a beautiful shore like this? No. Things are going well. This episode, guys, what I'm going to be doing is because this is a beta first play. You guys want to see the gameplay. You guys want to see what things look like. Uh, they've added quite a few things i'm doing the whole alt g which is not out of the box just like uh the original transport fever you got to go into the config file and adjust things and anyway that's that's a whole nother story but that's what lets me hide the ui uh ask me on the side if you want to know how to do that or google it anyway cranes we're following them this is new uh really excited to be showing it off i'm going to be showing the first 50 years in this episode so i'm going to be jumping ahead a little bit but look at these flowing hills with that country music in the background. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, alongside this, I'm going to be doing all the campaign missions, just kind of ch checking them out, how they're playing in beta, uh, and I'm going to be showing those on the YouTube channel as well. I already have the first uh, two missions out and about. Actually, only the first one. The second one's recorded and ready to go. Uh, anyway, really glad to be doing a free play. There's three types of uh, climates. There's tropical, which is what we're playing here. There's dry, which is like Grand Canyon... Uh, nice, nice looking stuff there. I did a modded original train fever with that. Um, gonna be doing a map on that. Um, and then on temperate, just the normal map, that's where I'm probably gonna be doing my hard series. I haven't even started it, but anyway, you guys don't want to see cranes. You want to see what's going on. Uh, it's 18, I love an 1850 start. There's not a lot you do. Oh, the numbers. They're still here, but guess what? I can still hide them. Uh, all new ways to get to Look at that, contour lines and navigable waters, all that fun stuff. Big major change I've seen. Let's just jump right in. What I'm doing right now is delivering food to Portland. We'll look at how to build lines and all that. I'm sure you guys... I'm. This is for folks who know Transport Fever. If not, don't you worry. Got plenty of videos out there that show how to do everything. But I already have a line going. We're bringing grain to the food, food to the town, just like it was in Transport Fever. New icons... Better information. Look at that. Suppliers lets me know where every farm is on the map. Every consumer of bread is on the map. Um, and that brings me to the next point. Each town randomly gets one industry and one commercial uh, demand. It's not like they all demand all the industries. So that's a big change. I don't know how everyone's going to feel about that. But anyway, mods are there. So... I think any way anyone doesn't feel good about anything, there's going to be a mod to change it. I rather enjoy the challenge. Um, just so you guys know, for the map, I went with low amount of cities, low amount of resources to add an extra fun challenge. So we're going to have to really build out, build out the lines. But it's only 1862 at the moment. All I have done is establish a bread line here in Portland. 
Uh, see, as you can see, there's a city down here in Denton, and it does not require bread. It wants construction materials and tools, and that's going to be hard to do. St. Petersburg is another place where it's at where I was able to bring food that had a bread demand. Can't bring construction materials to either one of these towns. One thing I'm making sure I am doing in these towns is adding bus lines to do everything I can to help with the town growth. Now the goods, check this out. There is uh, emissions now from the vehicles. So these vehicles dropping goods off in the middle of downtown are creating emission problems for the town, creating a restriction on growth. I love that added feature. Um, if it stays, again, it's beta, not a review. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we got these two towns working on out. Getting that early cash. That's just where it's going to be. Try to find your food. Everything else, like, uh, for example, for example, construction materials are usually easy. It's just stone. That's all they require, construction materials, just stone. The problem is, is I have a very low-level supply of stone on this map, and it makes it near impossible to get over here. Nice thing is, is air freight is going to be a thing. So... A lot of cool things happening, folks. A lot of cool things happening. Let me bring you to the other side of the map to Port St. Lucie, which I'm calling PSL for now. And this is where we have trains are rolling. So let me, uh, you saw it on the intro. I love the new little icons that we have for all everything going now. Kind of kind of helps to see where, uh, where everything is. And, uh, oh yeah, we don't have any trains on this yet. Fuel. So what I'm going to do, something that's also really cool, is uh, the Stinky Pete. So we're going to upgrade him. That's what's happening here. So check this out. I can click on the, the vehicle here. I can edit the vehicle. And I can remove the old, uh, what do we have on here? It looks like we have an old Russian class T-type. Uh, we're going to upgrade it to the 440 General. So I'm going to remove this guy. And we're going to add the General. I'm just going to modify it for 242K. We're going to release this guy right back onto the total fuel train line. Because that's what's happening in 1862. Upgrades are happening. I love it. The oil has been uh, starting here quite nice. But let's take a beautiful look here. Not at that. But a beautiful up close look at Stinky Pete. In his beautiful brand new 440 General. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. This is what you guys came for. Train noises and that beautiful smoke. So this is quite the line. I'm loving the tropical feel. Uh, I, I'm telling you, if you guys didn't check out Mission 1 of Chapter 1, it's in the desert. It's in uh, Carson City area, Nevada, in the western United States. Very beautiful canyons. Very excited to be starting a map uh, of that on my own. I'm going to do an extra large map when it comes to the canyon deserts and all that stuff. So we'll see how that does. But very excited here. So we got one train going. I'm going to have some passing loops. Get this built out. This is new. Okay, I should talk about this. You guys see, you've seen crude oil, right? And then it used to be we'd bring crude to a uh, oil refinery. So that's uh, what's different now is the oil refineries don't just make oil and fuel. It just makes the uh, the oil. What is it calling it specifically? Oil. Good job. Crude oil to oil. Then from here, we have to ship out the oil either to a fuel refinery, which is what I'm doing right now, because PSL needs fuel and bread, which is funny because we can't get bread up here, which I'm thinking maybe we'll fly it because that's going to be a thing. And then look at this. It puts my two stone quarries on the entire mapper all the way up here. Nice thing is, yes, it is over here by this construction material plant. But yes, it's on an island, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so uh, food, fuel, things are going well. Here's a problem. 500, uh, 5 million in debt. I don't like debt. If you guys have seen me play, play train fever, transport fever, I like to get out of debt as soon as possible. So now that we're making money, I'm going to try to stop spending money. I'm going to probably go do the laundry or something. <laughs> Let the game run. Follow the train around a little bit. Because, again, look at this. I mean, the train is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful passes we have in the game. You can give you a nice little Alt-G here. Oh, oh. And we're going to autosave. Really? Really? I do love that autosave feature. I 
always got to work out when it happens. Turn that thing off during video gaming re recording. But here we go. We're getting that speed going down the hill. And this train is going to train us right into the future. And hopefully out of debt. So you guys hold on tight. We're going to do what we do on Monty Plays Games. And we're going to warp into the future. All right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to the future. That is... Beaver too. I mean, the game didn't change. Just the time changed. The 4-4 General, though, he's had a good life. You guys don't even know that uh, the good life that uh, the 4-4 General has had. But uh, he made us some good money. Heading back to the depot. And with that in mind, I want to show you something. Remember how we used to have the trains go back to the depot? Plus this vehicle manager. I know it's not totally complete and, again, beta, but I like it. Check this out. I can click on Stinky Pete. And I can go ahead and just replace the selected vehicle while it's out and about. Uh, like a full replacement. So I could say, you know what? Time to go to this 280 Baldwin class 56. We're going to add that. We're going to go down here. We're going to add the tank cars of... It doesn't really matter. They both do the same thing. So let's go with the darker uh, tank car here. And instead of going with the 42, let's add another. Let's add another. And I'm going to replace it now right quick as it was still loading. And look at that. There we have it. It's an instant replacement on the line. Oh, my goodness, Stinky Pete. You're showing off some wonderful things. And uh, other than that, it's 1873 now. So it wasn't too big of a jump. Just a few years. Um, there was really nothing too wrong with the general. We just wanted to uh, get a little bit more power on the line, move a few more crude, and hopefully save up mo money. <clears throat> I only have paid off a million, and get debt free. And that's what I want to bring you guys back. Because once we're debt free, it's going to be a little bit less of this. Because again, I think that's always one of those things with transport fever is you got to get through that initial hump of those fifty years, or. Don't be like me. Don't start in 1850. Start in 1900. And you don't have to deal with that much wider variety of vehicles and all that. But I love hitting 1900 debt-free with like a transport fever, transport fever company in place. Which hold on. By the way, that's a little something new in this game. If I go to my headquarters, that's right, my headquarters. Look at this. You get a little little shack that starts out. And um, I'm pretty... Oh, look at that. It even says... Mo it's really hard to read. I can barely read it. Monty Plays Games Transport. I love it. I love it. So you get a cool little headquarters. You can click on it and you can relocate it. And it shows your company's score and value and how much money I'm spending and how many vehicles I have. And wow, this is actually quite nice to know. I have four trams, 53 road vehicles, and one, one train, which we've seen. Which does make me want to go to St. Petersburg. Those four trams, I just built these in, and St. Petersburg is looking mighty fine. Check out the nice top view. Oh, my goodness. Road road views from above. If that doesn't get your kicks going, I just don't know what does. Um, okay, too much. Too much money, but I did some little flip arounds for the trams, and here's what's cool. In the town of St. Petersburg, guess what kind of trams we have? None other than... The St. Petersburg tram. There it goes right there, looking beautiful. Passing off the Parkview Hotel. It's, it's a great place to stay. Um, don't mind the rats in the back. It's uh, it's uh, they're friendly. They're friendly. It's kind of kind of part of the service, I guess. Anyway, Main Street's doing all right down here in St. Petersburg. It is what it is. It will be what it will be. I love that this guy's hanging out on the top. It is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Makes me think of trolleys. Haven't actually gone and seen The Good Neighbor or whatever that Mr. Rogers movie is with Tom Hanks. Gobble, gobble. By the way, gobble, gobble. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. If you're in the United States, happy Thanksgiving. If not, uh, you know, have a great day anyway. It's holiday time. I'm enjoying it. I'm off all week. And, uh, yeah, debt-free. Here's why I want to go debt-free. I want to finish this line off and get our first passenger train line from St. Petersburg to Carrollton. I think that's going to be my plans, and that's going to bring us uh, to time on the episode. But again, I wanted to bring us the first 50 years, 
show you what's going on. We haven't even gotten a module building on how all that looks. There's so much like little tweaks that are different. So let's not start that whole is this should transport fever just be and blah, blah, blah. Same, same kind of thing happened with train fever to transport fever. I am so happy that these previous games have done so well that's allowed Transport Fever 2 to exist and happen and um, just continuing to love and see all the improvements. So let's do what we do. Keep on keeping on. Warp into the future. And get out of debt because this debt's killing me. So hold on tight, everybody. Let's do this. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Jumping right back in it. I already built the track, guys. It's a straight track. Uh, no big deal, no big deal. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is just adding the train. A bunch of trains came out. Nothing in electric or diesel yet. Mm, notice all the uh, nice filters on the left here. And I, by the way, on this map, I said all the vehicles. That's why I'm being bombarded, like uh, U.S., Europe, and Asia vehicles. So we're getting everything because this is the this is the series where we're going to see it all. Um, and speaking of, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to go with that 260 Mogul. Brand new, top speed, 75 kmh. Uh, top speed steam train that we've had so far. So I'm going to buy that. I've got 2 million. That's 1.4 million right there. So we're out of debt, though, by the way. So there is that. Yeah, which one do we want to do? Which one? Wow, lifespan. Let's go with the Poodle Off. Poodle Off. Come on now, let's buy... And, oh my goodness, you're expensive. Oh, I already bought one of you. Hmm. Alright, I like what we're doing here. Alright, this is going to be a $4 million train. See, here's what I do. I do this, I get out of debt, and then all of a sudden I want to buy a train to get back in uh, debt. But... Mm, no, we're going to get rid of that guy. Boom. 3.4 million. If I borrow a million, I still don't have enough. 1.5 million. I don't know if I, The things we discuss while staring at this. Um, I'm going to do it. Mm. Borrow, borrow, borrow. Buying all the cash. We're going to buy it, and we're going to add it to line one. Can't believe we just spent all that money. But the good news was... We were debt free. Does that mean anything to anybody anymore? Right, so here we go. Let's check on this guy right here. Train number one. First passenger line train in the town, in the city. Oh, every time I reload transport fever problems, you guys keep coming back with your numbers. I would love if my, my setting is saved, but uh, I get it. I get Doing it. Doing nice. Now we got triple horsepower. So that's always nice to see. They're hauling more. We got covered wagons that have been going. We've gotten uh, basically a lot of different horse and carriages. Nothing too fancy yet. I'm very excited for the 1900s and beyond. If there's anything I'm for sure about on Transport Fever 2 is it's that I'm really excited to get to the modern age. Mm-hmm. First passenger line. We get out of debt. We put ourselves immediately back in debt, and then probably just bought a line that's going to take away all of our money. Because this train line is like way out in the middle of nowhere. I'm actually hoping that it's going to beef up the use of the tram station and the bus lines connecting the whole town. Because everyone wants to get a taste of uh, Carrollton. should name it Carlton. Uh, yeah, so that's going well. I do have plans once this gets out of debt. Look at that. We already have people waiting. Lots of people. So let's do good here, Monty. I've been doing so good, my friends. You're going to be so impressed. Uh, we, we're going to go to Carroll to... Uh, where is this going? St. Petersburg? Yes, it is. Uh, SP, which I've been calling SP. Coolie do, coolie coolie do. All right, nice. See, as you can tell, it's quite, for our first passenger line, I mean, it's quite boring. It's very straight. It's very, yes, it's going to get the job done. That's all I care about. But let's talk about what I'm going to be doing next time, because it's going to be big time, because I know I haven't been building, building a lot of the lines on camera, but I just wanted to show you the highlights of it. Okay, now that's what we're going here. 
This is the 1850s to 1900s. And then we're going to slow it down. Smaller chunks, smaller chunks. Portland, I've already built out all the road systems. Uh, it's looking quite nice. The smoothing system is still all here. Look at that. You can change textures as well, um, like the texture tool, depending on what you want on that. So it's not just the heights and stuff. Paint tools are already all here. This is with no mods. It's just here straight out of the box. And assets. I would like some more assets. I'm not going to lie. The benches and the fence in the lamppost. I love it. But, uh, you know, where's the bin? Got to have a bench and a bin. Uh, but we're going to move on with that because that's what mods are for, I guess. Pittsburgh is where we're going to be spending our time next episode. Uh, I want to get machines going. And luckily, unlike anywhere else on the map, look, I got wood to planks. Planks to the machine factory. We're going to have uh, coal and iron to the steel mill and steel mill to the machine factory, which then is enough to make the machines go to Pittsburgh. So I'm loving this right here. And then I also have this extra forest, but I'm going to use this forest to start. I already have all the roads. I'm going to add all the depots, and then we will we'll add um, hopefully the next layer of trucks. I want to get away from this horse-drawn carriage stuff um, and kind of go from there. But look how just... It's so fantastic looking. And the city growth is, is real. I mean, it's already happening here. Nice little house on the edge. This is the, the main town where we've been supplying fuel. Uh, passenger circles all the way around. Portland's all square. This place is nice and circly. So I'm loving it, guys. Transport Fever 2. Let me know in the comments more of exactly what you'd like to see because I'm just happy that I get to show this off to you fine folks. I'll play it how I want to play it whenever I can go play it later. Right now, I want to be showing off what you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed what you got kind of a taster of today for the free game mode. Um, remember, there's a map editor. There's a three-chapter campaign, uh, and each chapter has at least, I think, six missions each. So uh, keep an eye out for those episodes. I'm going to go record mission number three uh, right after this, hopefully uh, later tonight, if, if, if it all goes well. Uh, but have a great holiday weekend, and you guys keep on keeping on. Have a great day. Peace.